This past week, the FBI, along with some outside help, unlocked an iPhone used by one of the San Bernardino terrorists. Today, we learned the FBI has told local police departments it will help them unlock cell phones in cases where they could provide evidence. As John Blackstone shows us, cracking the code is easier said than done. When the FBI launched its search for a way to unlock the San Bernardino terrorist's iPhone, the technicians at a California company called Drive Savers were among those who took up the challenge. They have plenty of experience rescuing broken iPhones. How many iPhones a month do you get that you have to try to get information from? You know, we see actually anywhere from 100 to 300 iPhones a month right now. Michael Cobb is Drive Savers' director of engineering. This is uh, the chip that holds all the data for the iPhone 5C in the uh, encrypted form. So you've got that off the phone? Why not just read it? Uh, well, because encryption is not so simple to, to retrieve. A company the FBI has not identified found a way around Apple's encryption. The effort at Drive Savers shows what they had to overcome. Try the wrong password too many times, and the phone wipes its memory clean. In the case of the 5C, um, you only have 10 attempts before the iPhone gets erased. To make sure the chip doesn't get erased, they copy it, then put it in a device that simulates an iPhone but lets them reset the chip's password counter to zero after every 10 attempts. Wouldn't that take forever? It all depends on how fast you can uh, be able to pull the data off, make that copy, do your 10 attempts. Drive Savers hasn't yet defeated Apple's password protection, but over the past 30 years, they have retrieved information from computers that have been burned, broken, and deliberately smashed. This is actually a job that came in this morning that has a lot of corrosion on it. It's spent some time in water. Yes, I don't know how much time, but there's a tremendous amount of corrosion in here. While law enforcement comes looking for evidence, many of Drive Saver's clients are family members trying to recover the messages and photographs of a loved one who has died, leaving behind their phone, but not their password. John Blackstone, CBS News, Novato, California.